Larry? Do you mind? Bring up your finger. Just a slash. That's why I didn't offer you. Okay. Thank you, uh, everyone, for having us here this evening. As most of you know, I'm originally from Nashville, Tennessee. My name is Roger Hendricks. Uh, after wearing a suit daily for about 25 years, uh, and you usually see me here in shorts and flip flops, and we dressed up a little tonight. <laughs> uh, right, so Mr. Kim's using my fashion consultant. In, in my corporate career, I was fortunate to travel the world, Europe, Asia, Central America, South America, looking for great products to sell to Cracker Barrel Low Country Store and other chains. In my travels, I've seen a lot of great buildings and great architecture in the world. In June of 2009, my other half accepted an uh, administrative position at JFK Medical Center, and we drew a line in the map and came up with Lake Worth on the intercoastal. And I said, uh, that's just where I want to be. So we loaded up the truck and we moved to Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Swimming booths, movie stars, <laughs> retirees. Uh, after looking around town, we wondered why these great cottages were not being promoted as a tourist attraction. Uh, no other town in South Florida has the abundance of cottages that we have here. Matter of fact, this is the only place even I know of in the Northeast. I mean, even in the Northeast, Wampus Vineyard is the only place I know of that's got the amount of cottages that we may have here. Uh, I got to thinking about how blighted maybe Key West and Charleston and Savannah was at one time until citizen groups took action to make a difference. Now, look at these, how wonderful these cities are. I thought we could do the same thing here. We can work with what we have already, our cottages, and make it a success like, like the other towns have already done. The cottages provide a unique opportunity for promoting, for promoting our city to tourists and potential buyers. I am not a real estate agent, nor do I have any agenda here. We do not, we are not here asking for any money, and we're not here to, we're only here to help our city. We had this idea, and now we want to make it a reality. So far, we have had a lot of interest, a lot of volunteers. We've had three meetings. They've all been packed. Um, why do we have so many cottages in Lake, Lake Worth? Well, Henry Flag, when Henry Flagler extended his railroad line from West Palm Beach to Miami in 1896, a uh, land developer later created a town between the railroad and the lake. Purchasers of six to eight acres of farmland west of here received a 25-foot lot here in Lake Worth, closer to the beach. Development boomed again after World War II when our first snowbirds started coming to Lake Worth. With modest pensions from Quebec, Finland, and eventually Germany, moving to the city and building these wonderful cottages. Many of the Lake Worth's approximately 1,000 cottages are on 25-foot lots and under 1,000 square feet. 13% of them are, were built prior to 1939, and others were built after World War II. What is the definition of a cottage? Cottages are predominantly smaller houses that may serve as a guest house, a holiday house, a vacation home, or primary residence. There can be any number of architectural styles but in Lake Worth, styles include Mission Revival, Frame Vinicular, Masonry Vinicular, Bahamian Craftsman, Art Modern, Art Deco, and Contemporary. They can be, or they may be one story or one and a half story in simple form and massive. <coughs> Our mission statement is to educate the citizens and visitors of Palm Beach County by celebrating and promoting the history of these unique structures and, and its people and to ensure that this legacy is passed on to future generations. To accomplish this, we must educate and engage the public for a variety of programs and activities. Our mission statement and what we hope to achieve and why we are doing this is to plan to make our cottages known nationally through a mix of promotional materials, brochures, websites, Facebook sites, a mapped driving tour of Lake Worth cottages, a walking tour, plus a nice coffee table book in the future. We also plan a, an annual uh, in tour of inside the cottages as a fundraiser, hopefully by next fall, to reach these potential people that, by showing them the before and after cottage to encourage investment. 
Now, Teresa will give you a few details on how we plan to meet our end goals. <coughs> Do you want to go ahead through the Oh, yeah. Just go ahead. Slideshow. Which yeah. one of these is working? They both, both are. are. Hmm. <laughs> Roger has the vision. This is how we're going to get there, hopefully. A um, little back story. We've driven the city a street to the intercoastal north side, the south side with West, Blackman, and William Waters. West, thank you. Thank he you. and William are our experts telling us what is appropriate for the program. We photograph them. We're in our first stage of culling through them to bring them down to a workable number. What we're hoping to do is create a map similar to the one that Commissioner Amorosa brought back from Seattle. It's a map on one side, quick overview, and then a short piece on each of the cottages that will be included in the program. This one is a sepia tone we're hoping to do a four color. Um, the final choice, we've got to have a couple meetings, it's quite a bit of work. Everything really hinges on getting that piece of it done. Um, what happens then? We design the map, write the copy, get the final images, go to print, we are hoping for street painting that we can buy a square. We do have money in our treasury, thanks to some donations, and use a square at street painting, maybe be able at that point to hand out our first informational materials because it will be bringing people from different parts of South Florida. After that, any of the occasions here in Lake Worth, the Gabe Fest, uh, anything else where we can be promoting locally. Beyond local promotion. We will distribute brochures to the travel consoles, the hotels, local businesses, but it's a digital age. And what we really want to do is get that website up, Facebook, anything that takes us far beyond South Florida to the national and the international market. And speaking of the international, we're assuming that we'll bring in some tourists for whom English is a second language. What we'd like to do is have a walking tour recorded. They stop at an Andy's store, pick it up, walk the neighborhood, listen to it, just as you do as many a museum. And it would be in their native tongue. At this point, probably French, German, and Finnish would be the best in our area. Uh, beyond that, we're even looking into a phone app. So anything we can do to get the word out there. Our bylaws are in place. We're a 501c3. We have about 1,500 in the bank. And we're looking for a grant writer. If anybody is listening tonight or here who knows how to do that, we would love to have you volunteer. Uh, thanks to everyone and to acknowledge a few people. Anna Maria tonight is at the REAP seminar learning how to write a grant, and the grant that she will be writing will be for Cottages of Lake Worth. Uh, Judith just wrote the bylaws and worked with Mary Lindsay to get us the 501c3. And there's many other people who are getting involved. The bottom line, we want to bring the tourism here, and we want to make our community better and bring in everybody. Michael stepped out, but I wanted to finish this up with a quote that I know he has hanging on the wall of his office, or so he told me. Make no small plans. They have no magic to stir men's blood, and probably themselves will not be realized. Thank you. Any commissioner comments or questions? Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to thank you guys for coming here. I asked to make sure that you were able to make a presentation about this. You've been brewing this for a while. And, um, you know, we, we've, since this summertime when we passed the LDRs, you know, there are, there's good protection in there for this, these type of projects, these little houses like this in all the neighborhoods in the city. And I was happy to see that they are covering the entire city with with um, samples and you know examples, so I'm looking forward to that. It also shows that we have a great resource in the city that's not been taken advantage of from the standpoint of.
promoting what we have here. I don't know who would want to come down here and pick up some of these from up north or out Midwest or wherever and come out here and just enjoy everything else that we have. So I, I'm glad that we've taken this as a really positive step. I know you guys have a rule in some of your meetings that if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. <laughs> <laughs> so I really, I really do appreciate it. Hopefully, we get this together. We can get a link from uh, the city website to their, their website too. Commissioner Wait. Yeah. Uh, thank you uh, for the effort and for organizing. The pictures are great. Um, it's kind of a nice reminder that that what a lot of us sort of know that this is a pretty interesting town. It's nice to see it, you know, in pictures that way. Um, one comment that, that, or one thought that came to mind as you mentioned, which I thought was a great idea, having tours in Finnish, German, French, um, is all of those places, if people were interested in coming, one of the things that they're all going to value is walkability and bikeability. And so I would just encourage us up here to remember that as we go in this direction and take advantage of the 25-foot lots, which many people think, oh my goodness, how terrible that the lots are so small. There is a market that likes that small size and likes the density that it brings and likes the fact that that then means you're close enough that you can walk to things or bike to things. So um, many of those folks, I think the overlap between the people who might like a cottage and might like to be able to bike. I, if I were me, I'd lay in a stock of beach cruisers because I'll bet they'll sell like hotcakes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just excited by the project. I think it sounds wonderful. I think there's a lot of good um, marketing opportunities for that too. There's also, I know from being a fan of old houses and old buildings, that there's um, a lot of opportunities with national corporations too, especially as you progress on that, especially if you're doing renovations. A lot of paint companies that use historical samples and a lot of things. Okay, yeah, that's this one. We, we want to take five houses and have a national paint company to paint them pastel colors and that be our feature. Right, because there's a, there's a lot of, in the hist keeping with the historics, the historical palettes, a lot of companies specialize in that too and would love to probably use that as long as, of course, they're in conjunction with our laws and bylaws too. We don't have a color code no, anymore, I don't think. Is the no. color code gone? They just no. have to match my shirts. Oh, see, I had to go I had to go through that on my own house years yeah. and years ago. I remember that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'd love to talk to you more about that. It's very exciting. Thank you so much for your presentation. Okay, folks, moving on. Item 5, 